we're going to start off with some of the most basic ideas and commands in Linux. So being familiar with command line Linux is one of the most fundamental requirements for bioinformatics because many of the software you will use for data analysis run in Linux and furthermore the computer resources your institution likely has are probably only accessible through SSH. So here in this terminal I'm actually using SSH to access a remote server on AWS. So on the right here, I'm just showing a layout of the file systems. So command line Linux is really not that much different from what you may be used to just on the graphical interface of Finder or Windows folders or whatever you usually use when you're on the computer. Um, so you just really have a series of folders or directories that connect to other directories, and then you have files within these folders. So whenever you first log into a Linux computer, you usually start off in the home directory. In this case, my home directory is called Ubuntu. It's just the default when I make a new server on AWS. But if someone else makes you an account or you make your own account, it might be your name, for example. For now, we're not really going to worry about this home or users folder. Don't get confused. This isn't the real home. It's just often called home in Ubuntu. So let's start off with some of these very basic commands. If we do a pwd command and hit enter, it prints your current working directory. So wherever you are, and right now we're in the home folder because I just logged into the server. You can use an ls command to list everything in the current folder. So you see in my home Ubuntu folder, the only thing that's in it is this folder called animal. And then we can use a change directory command cd and we can go to animal and now we're in this directory and then if we want to change to the reptiles directory we can go cd reptiles and now we're down here in the reptiles folder and if we do ls now we see we have a text file within this folder called reptiles.txt we can do a quick peek into the text file. There's many different ways to do this, but we're just going to use cat because it's a small text file. We see that inside the text file, there's just some different reptiles. We can use cp to copy the file. So we're going to copy reptiles. And notice that I'm using tab to autocomplete. So you can type in r and then hit tab. And since there's only one thing that starts with r, it's going to autocomplete. Specify the copied file name as reptiles copy.txt. So now if we look, we have reptiles.txt and reptiles copy.txt. And then we can remove with the rm command reptiles.txt. And now we only have reptiles copy.txt. And then we can rename reptiles top copy dot text this is kind of like a cut and paste the mv command or move command if we use that on reptiles copy dot text and then we can name it reptiles dot text and now we only have reptiles dot text and i'm just going to use the clear command to get rid of all these extra lines in the terminal and again, we're currently in this directory, reptiles. But if we want to go back to our home directory, notice I have this little tilde here because that's actually the shortcut for home directory. So we can just do a cd tilde. And now we see we're back in the Ubuntu directory. Next, instead of changing directories one at a time, let's actually use complete path of the directory from our current directory. Let's move to this dogs directory over here. We can go cd animal and again tab to autocomplete mammal tab autocomplete and then dogs. And now if we look where we are we do a pwd we can see that we're in the dogs directory way over here. And if we look inside the dogs folder we see we have one text file called dogs.txt and again let's look at it cat dogs.txt and we see we have just a handful of different dog breeds next I want to show you how to move back one directory so we can do a change directory and the path for the previous directory is dot dot so now we go from the dogs to the mammal directory and inside the mammal directory 
we just have the dogs folder. But let's make a new directory called cats. The command for that is make dir, mkdir, and we'll just name the folder or the directory cats. So now you see we have this cats directory. Let's clear some of this. We're still in the mammal directory, but let's use the dot dot to go all the way back to the home directory instead of using the tilde. So we can just do a cd dot dot slash dot dot. So we go back two directories. And now you can see again we're in the home directory or the Ubuntu directory. And again if we peek at what's in the home directory we see it's only the animal directory. But let's copy that dogs.txt file to our current directory. So cp animal mammal dogs and then dogs.txt and then like the double dots was back one directory the notation for your current directory is just one dot. So since you're just specifying a directory with one dot and not a file name, it will just copy it as dogs.txt. Now if we look at ls, we see we have dogs.txt. And then let's do the same thing for the reptiles.txt. So cp animal reptiles reptiles.txt. And then a dot for the current directory. And now we have dogs.txt and reptiles.txt. Let's use the mv command, the move command, to move dogs.txt to animal mammal cats. So we're putting the dogs.txt file in the cats file. And my cat's also making noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear her. So now if we do an ls, we see that dogs.txt is gone. But if we do an ls of animal mammal cats we see that dogs.txt is in there but of course dogs aren't cats so let's remove it rm animal mammal cats dog.txt and then here let me show you if you hit the up arrow on your keypad you can cycle through recent commands so we're just going to hit up arrow twice to the ls of our cats directory we see that nothing's in it. And then finally, since we don't have any cats text documents, what's the point of us even having a cats directory? So let's just remove it. And the command for removing an empty directory is just remove directory rmdir and the path to the directory. Just animal, mammal, cats. And then finally, let me show you some absolute paths. So everything we've done so far has been relative to our current directory that we've been in. But we can actually specify the complete path starting with the root and when we do a command like that it doesn't matter where we currently are. So for example let's just change to the reptiles folder but again we're in the home folder so we could do reptiles or animal reptiles like that but we can also do the whole entire path starting from root, which is just a slash, and then the fake home directory, and then our real home directory, Ubuntu, and then animal, and then reptiles. So now we're in reptiles. Let's copy the dogs.txt file from the dogs directory to the animal directory here using absolute paths. So we can do cp then the absolute path of the dogs.txt file, then the absolute path of where we want to put it. And then let's do the absolute path with an ls. So ls home boot to animal and we see that dogs.txt is now inside this directory here. Okay, so that's basically it for the most fundamental Linux commands. So now you kind of know the equivalent of moving around directories in Windows or Mac or whatever. And you know how to copy files around, move them, or rename them. And you know about paths. And here I've just put a summary of the commands and ideas you learn in this short video.